back one. What is your, what, what's the name on the registration? Well, I have three. It's my stepsister, my stepsister, my friend, um, Melides. What's the name? Well, I don't know. And uh, one name, I know Amonte, which is a Pennsylvania plate. Do you have, do you have uh, Jacqueline Silverio? That's me. Okay, and then you have Masio Almonte? Yeah, that's my sister. And Miluis Nicasio? That's my friend. Well, you have an awful lot of tickets here, Jacqueline. <laughs> yes. Um, I moved to that address on June the 1st. Um, I am not allowed to park in the parking lot because my plates is not from Rhode Island yet. I'm having a little issue of transferring my plate. And um, they told me that I could park in the streets. I've been parking there for the month. And then on June, I think it was like July the 15th, they just started giving tickets. All right. My car is still parking in, in the street, and I haven't gotten a ticket. Okay, first of all, let me. I know you're from Pennsylvania, right? My plates are. I used to live here before. Okay, so you, but you went from Pennsylvania, you came back? Yes. All right. Um, I... That was a difficult timing for me. You, you've been having some difficult times? Yeah, because I just lost a baby. I was three months pregnant and I lost the baby. So my friends were coming and visit me just to keep me like up nosh. Um, I've been very depressed over the loss of my baby because I only have one child and she's 17. And she asked me to have a kid since she was nine. And when I came out pregnant, my whole family was excited and everything. For me to lose the baby at three months is devastating. So I'm still dealing with it. It's kind of tough for me because it's hard for me to see memories of my baby in my house. And on top of that, that I got the tickets, everybody was getting tickets, it was on a weekend, and everybody's, I'm like, listen, I'll go to the court because it's my fault that y'all here visiting me. Don't worry about it, I'll take care of it. And like today was that day that I woke up and I said, let me go to court, let me do this so I could get over it. But it's been kind of hard for me these months because of that. Every time the day comes, close to the day that I lost my baby, it's, like, it's kind of hard. It happened on June the 24th, and they took out my baby on June the 28th. So Jack, what about these other tickets? Are you going to be paying for them as well? Um, I'm, I'm, used, I'm being honest. They're my friends, and they were there for me, so I told them that I would take care of it. I mean, they were there for me, and, and they're still there for me because my friend, like Nicasio, she's still living with me because she's afraid that I might do something to myself because I'm totally depressed. My daughter just came from Florida because she moved to Florida, and she was with me for like two weeks, and then she went back and she told my friend that she was afraid of leaving me alone. Your story is very moving for me. I think all of us have a great deal of understanding and sympathy for you. You present yourself as just a, such a decent and honorable person. Ordinarily, in this case, if I were to make a decision ordinarily, it would, the original fines were, the original fines were $460. Mm -hmm. I probably would have reduced that ordinarily to like, 200 bucks. Uh, but I don't have it in my heart to do that to you. So I have the fortune to reach people all over this country, actually all over the world through social media and through television. And some of the stories here are so compelling that people who are very generous, who have good hearts and understanding, have sent in checks saying, please use these for someone who, has, who you think is worthy of consideration. And, and God bless them for their generosity. So I have a check from someone from Illinois, from Downers Grove, Illinois, from a Miki and Howard Hansen, and also from Sterling Heights, Minnesota, from an you could Doko, who owns a business called Amazing Force. They both have sent in a check for $100 and asked me to use it for someone who I think is, is worthy. So I'm gonna use their generosity 
to pay for your fines. I'm going to reduce Thank the fines you. to $200. Thank you. Come up here. Come up here. I want to give you a hug. Come up here. Come up here. Come on, how cool is that? If you'd like to see more cases like this one, tune into Court in Providence every weekday. Excuse me? You didn't know Court in Providence is also a TV show. Oh wow, your life just got substantially better. To find out what channel we're on, go to courtinprovidence.com, click on your local listings, scroll down till you find your hometown, then start doing your happy dance. That's it. Move it. Move it. Nice. All rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.